Hi Pisces, welcome back to Om Kara Tarot and to your love, love bite. Let's see what message is here for you today Pisces. And of course these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Pisces. Oh, two of cups. Okay, king of wands upright. Knight of swords. Seven of wands. Page of pentacles. Queen of wands. Equal match here. King of wands to the queen of wands and the world card. Uh, has there been a conflict or something, a fight between the two of you, King of Wands, Queen of Wands? Is somebody walking away from this connection now? Uh, I think maybe somebody is thinking that maybe their person is leaving or is emotionally leaving them behind. Mm, lot of overthinking, knowing this is a two of cups situation. I love my person, they are the one for me, this is my soulmate. I think somebody wants to rush back. They want to rush back and maybe fight for this connection because there's stagnation here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, Pisces, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify these cards. I'm really enjoying this. This is a king of wands, queen of wands. This is a, an equal pair, right? And then I have the two of cups here as well. Then why all this conflict? Why is all this fighting going on? Let's see. Um, spirit Pisces and their person if they could say something to each other now what would that be Pisces and their person Pisces and their person okay I'm going to take a few more Pisces from another deck and if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is in the description box below you can reach me there Pisces and their person. Okay, just a few more Pisces from a third deck as well. Pisces and their person. Okay. The first card here, Pisces, says, I'm willing to offer an olive branch to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you. I long for peace and I miss you. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. I don't want to live without you in my life anymore. You're all I think about and I'm haunted by your presence. I long to be with you. We are both awakened to this journey of unconditional love and have shared our deepest desires for the future we want to have together. When we have any challenges, we should communicate about our triggers in a healthy way by having open and honest discussions rather than avoiding them at all costs. I hunger for your touch, your kiss and the warmth of your body. I want and I need you now. You are the owner of my heart, my feelings, my soul and my body. I belong to you. We are one. I love you. You made me see a side of me that I've grown to hate. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I'll be ready to surrender. It wasn't you. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. Your indifference could be the difference as to whether I continue to invest in you or our relationship anymore. I try to detach and let go, but then I get flooded with telepathy dreams and your strong sexual energy which takes me over. Damn it. I would wait for eternity to be with you. I'll never let you go. You are my one true love. I've been waiting a lifetime for you. I can't get you out of my head. I think about you always. I know that we are soulmates. 
See, I told you. I mean, the knowledge is there that we are soulmates. I know that we are soulmates forever entwined for eternity. All right, Pisces, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Learning experience. Well, soulmates do come into each other's lives, not just for fun and sex and passion and a good time. They also come into each other's life to teach each other lessons. So this has been a learning experience. Maybe both of you had to trigger each other to learn some very important life lessons here, Pisces. Like this is a past life connection. So Spirit, tell me, what's the Five of Wands? What's the Five of Wands? Yeah, somebody is exhausted, tired of all the arguments and fights and unrest and wondering if this is even a soulmate connection like how can this be a soulmate connection omkara tarot this is where, where we are always competing always arguing always fighting i am so exhausted of this now i'm ready to give up and uh, really is this a soulmate connection i don't think so all i do is think and overthink and be stressed out and wonder why what where uh, eight of swords Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is like the overthinking is because their heart. Some and both of you, I think, would rather not have these sleepless nights. What would rather spend that time with each other, still not wanting this connection to totally end because that pull is still there. Very well knowing this is a, you know, I want to go back to my soulmate. This is my person, Two of Cups. Two of Cups, yes. It's a connection which, it's a connection which, uh, I think somebody just wants to have the other person make a decision, make a choice, but what direction this connection is going to go, even though it gives a lot of happiness. This connection could be giving a lot of happiness to each other but still feeling that things are always out of balance where is the you know where is the commitment this is like king of wands come on say something king of wands is sitting in the upright i want i'm giving the mic to this king of wands what would you like to say here king of wands oh king of wands King of Wands. King of Wands has also been up in their head. They also, they, listen, this person, they, maybe this is their lung, la, love language. They play mind games, they fight, they argue. Uh, that is the way they connect, maybe. That's their way of showing passion. That's so strange. They know, they, they know that they know that the other person is the one for them. So then, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, yes, but maybe they, this person hides their feelings for some reason. They have so much love in their heart. Maybe they have emotional difficulty in expressing their emotions. They take it out in a very bad way in the sense their speech could be you know very argumentative or always fighting uh, because they love their person they see this empress as the queen above all queens but having all the love in the heart for this empress they're always angry because either they feel they can't achieve this or they've already lost it or they may not be able to get a Ten of Cups with this Empress. Seven of Wands. Yeah, maybe in the past they made some unwise decisions. This person is angry with themselves. They love this Empress. They've never told this Empress. And the frustration and the anger is that they've missed out on this Ten of Cups because of some unwise and foolish choices. Because there's a lot of regret, shame, guilt while seeing the, their past. 
right they could have pushed this empress away and caused a stagnation page of pentacles yeah they know they made a very very foolish choice very foolish mistake in the past they are still in love with this empress they see this empress as their equal match their queen of wands very attractive they're very sexually attracted to this uh, queen of wands as well but since the queen of wands is also in the upright i'll just be fair and give this queen of wands the mic as well let's see what this queen of wands wants to say queen of wands you take the mic now okay queen of wands okay all right yeah queen of wands is disappointed the uh, queen of wands is very disappointed that they, they feel their person just doesn't have the courage to open up and speak to them or maybe they lie to them or uh, they just create unrest when there should be peace and happiness this queen of wands uh, has been waiting i think for a stable offer so the world card now the world card there is communication coming in yes there is communication coming in there is uh, there is somebody returning there is somebody returning after a long delay i think it's going to come to a point where this person will feel this king of wands i think is going to feel they are already feeling i think uh, impatient now they are feeling impatient i think this communication is on its way maybe it's been a long time coming but this person wants to return and not just return they know that they have to apologize they have to apologize so that they can have another chance with this queen of wands but spirit then what's this eight of cups who's uh, leaving or what's what's this ah uh, there's a fear spirit says there's a fear that uh, there's a fear here that obsession fear i don't know what i think this person feels that if they don't message quickly this queen of swords is got their boundaries up they're going to you know not allow them back in they feel if i don't immediately now say something or communicate my person is going to walk away from me forever emotionally so there's been a lack of uh, communication yeah they feel they're going to be dropped they go, they feel they they feel that this uh, queen of swords is absolutely going to drop them if they don't now come forward and tell this queen that uh, they do love them i mean they were showing up as a king of cups and they see their person as a queen of cups so yes this person could have been hiding their emotions or ghosting or this is like playing mind games now they want to come in with an emotional offer uh, pisces they want to have victory with their person maybe this in the past they didn't maybe they were sitting in their ego and pride i don't know but they now realizing if i don't say anything now it's going to be too late my person is going to emotionally break off or walk away maybe they're learning a lesson in uh, you know ego and pride and this empress i guess could be learning some lessons in maybe self worth or keeping their boundaries up or not over loving or over giving so well that's what i have for you pisces till next time then love and light take care namaste